Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Kava Sewer here, coming at you again from uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, today I have a, a new uh, kava that I um, from a new vendor that I'm really excited to try. This is um, Ofa's kava, uh, and this comes from. Uh, I'm, and I'm not going to pronounce this correctly, so please uh, forgive me, um, especially anybody from Tonga. Uh, from the from their family farms in Limatu. Uh, Vavau. In the comments, please correct my pronunciation of that. Um, anyway, this is it's, it's a Tongan kava, and it's um, this is a new vendor, and I have not tried Ofis kava before, but uh, but I, but I got this uh, today, this uh, six ounce uh, package. Um, these are twenty dollars on their website, and um, it's uh, just it's Tongan kava. It doesn't uh, have any description about whether it's Lawena or Waka. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll be able to tell that pretty quickly once I um, taste it. And kind of looking at it and uh, seeing as to the fact that it's not labeled as Luena or Waka, I would expect that it's probably a blend. Um, it is a noble kava, according to the website, and uh, they do a test and make sure that the kavas are um, both uh, noble and are um, uh, safe and not contaminated. So I'm really excited to try this. I love Tongan Kava. Um, there's been a lot of really good Tongan Kava recently. So, um, you know, I'm expecting this to be good. And to be honest with you, I mean, it's been so long since I had a Kava that wasn't good that I'm almost like waiting for a Kava that's not good so I can, so I can like try to, um, appear to be unbiased, but, uh, it's like all the kava that I get and all the kava that I try is just top notch. And um, that's a good thing. I think that we've uh, created a, a demand for good kava and we're getting it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna knead this up and uh, do a little taste test and then do a little effects test. Uh, with the Tongan, you know, I'm, I'm expecting it to be a, a sedating, somewhat, you know, it's stimulating for the short term, sedating for the evening kind of kava. That's what I've kind of um, come to expect from Tongan Kavas. So yeah, anyways, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bust this bag open and uh, do, a little, uh, do a little shelling, hula, to the hula. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ofa's Kava has been mixed. I have a nice big bowl of it. I wish it was a Tanoa. Any, any Tanoa sellers out there, please get in touch with me. I've been desperately trying to get a new Tanoa, um, but I, but I want a, a nice one with some like some like uh, what do you call it abalone or something like some kind of shiny shell element to it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scoop out a shell of this with my uh, awesome ladle that I got from uh, uh, Fiji Vanua Kava. All right, so here we go, Ofa's Kava Tongan. Uh, that's all the, the description that I have from the bag and from the website. I'll be able to tell you right now if it's a waka, a loena, or a mix. Well, first of all, it's very smooth and fresh and, and, and mellow. It has like a really nice, like nutty, cashewy taste to it, as I, as I like to say. Um, but with some some pepper, some pepperiness to it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my I'm gonna stick with my hypothesis that it's a a mix. However, I would say maybe it's like a seventy percent Loena to a thirty percent Waka mix. Which is good, which I because I, I love Loina, uh, and, and you you add a little bit of Waka to to give it that stimulate stimulating strength. Yeah, I like this. This is really good. It reminds me a lot of um, like a melt in your mouth, kind of like a Hawaiian kava that you might get from like gourmet Hawaiian kava, almost like a like a mahakia. Very very um, fresh tasting and. and creamy and it just kind of, you know, it melts in your mouth, exactly. Mula.
Yeah, it's really good. It's actually been a long time since I tasted a coffee that had that that really mellow creaminess to it uh, with kind of just like kind of sprinkles of pepper. But uh, but I'm digging it, I'm digging it. All right, well, I'm gonna let this, uh, I'm gonna let this uh, seep into my bloodstream and um, get back to you with some, uh, some of my impressions of the effects of Ofa's kava from Tonga. Bula to the hula. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, uh, the verdict is in on this one, and uh, I've I've drank the whole entire bowl. Um, it was it's a delightful, uh, balanced, relaxing kava, and I'd say that um, what what really stands out about this Ofa's kava is it's a uh, kind of medicinal qualities um very very relaxing like perfectly relaxing there's none of the um there's none of that like a uh, bloated uh kind of heaviness um and, and i don't mean heaviness in the way that we normally use the word but like you know how some comments when you drink them they kind of sit in, in your body and they kind of make you feel heavy this one is has a very light body to it and it kind of burns really clean and uh, over the course of two hours I've um, drank this whole bowl and, and and you know I don't feel tired I feel very relaxed today was my first day on a new job so there's a lot of you know anxiety and tension that comes along with that this cut right through that perfectly addressed it um, so for those of uh, you out there in the kava community who are looking for a kava that uh, kind of addresses those issues this is going to be a good one to reach for um, what I'd like to see from Ofis Kava uh, is, you know, they, they have, you know, just this one kava right now. Uh, I'm sure that they're thinking about expanding their uh, their menu. Um, but if, if they were to sell a Waka um, and a Luena separately, that would be interesting to kind of see what, what those um, what those would have to offer uh, since they, they're connected to this farm. Um, and, you know, one thing I was thinking about, um, you know, when you compare this to like um, Kava Sewer Select uh, from Kava Mama, which is, uh, you know, obviously one of my favorite kavas, um, uh, <laughs> uh, it, it, it's much lighter than that. And, and the Kava Sewer Select I, is, is one of my favorite kavas because it's very balanced, but it's also a lot stronger than, than Ofa's Kava. And that's not necessarily, you know, always a good thing or a bad thing. Um, if, if, if it's a Wednesday night and you're just trying to take the edge off, you know, a balanced, lighter, more mild kava is, is, is probably good. It's, it's a kind of a good daily kava. Um, kava Sewer Select is also a good daily kava, uh, in my opinion, because, um, it's, it, 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 you, you definitely feel it, um, substantially every time you drink it. But this is the kind of kava that, um, I would definitely recommend for, for people who uh, want or are looking for a daily kava and don't necessarily want, you know, the full beanbag melt effect. So yeah, I think, uh, you know, two thumbs up to Ofa's Kava for putting this out there. It's a mild, balanced, you know, Waka Luena mix from Tonga. Tongan kavas are always, you know, just fantastic. And this is no ex uh, exception to that. Um, and uh, yeah, Bula to the Hula. Um, I'm, ex I'm excited about all these new kavas uh, that are coming out. Um, I've been ordering them left and right, and I'm really excited to try new ones. Um, and Ofis Kava is one of them, and I, I'm, I'll be glad to uh, add it to my to my shelf and uh, kind of dip dip in on a, on a on a Monday night or a Tuesday night when I might have a lot going on the next day, and I don't necessarily want the afterglow effect. Um, so yeah, absolutely try this stuff out. Um, it's also a very good value. Once again, that's Ofa's Kava. Their their deets are there. Um, I believe that's their, their Twitter accounts. So, Bula to the Hula. We'll catch you next time. Kava Sewer, out.